Right guys, friends to all here and welcome to another Warframe video. Today I'm going to be doing a build video on Octavia and how strong she is. I'd probably say one of the best, if not the best, in the game. As you can see behind me, uh, well the gameplay footage that I'm doing now, I am literally doing Hydron solo. Um, because Octavia is so strong, I could do Hydron quite easily on my own. Um, and I'll demonstrate that for you. Uh, the abilities that are the best in my opinion are uh, number one, which puts your mallet out, and number four, which also does damage itself, but also extends your range of the mallet. So the more damage that gets put down to the mallet, then the more damage it will output. There is uh, number two ability is for uh, moving the mallet around, which puts it on a rollerball which I do not use, I do not like, I'd rather it be stationary in my opinion but you might want, you might like that ability, it's up to you uh, and your number three ability, it's got a lot of different buffs but the best one in my opinion again is the invincibility buff so once you put your number three down, you crouch down on the beats once the, you can see the circles coming towards you, crouch it down, time it right and uh, you will go invincible I do need some more energy at the minute. Uh, just wait for my Xenoric buff to kick in. Alright, so there it is. So, Octavia works really well with um, Xenoric buff because you do need a lot of energy with uh, Octavia. But if you've got the Xenoric, that gives you four per second, then you're definitely not going to run out of energy anytime soon. So yeah guys, um, I just wanted to introduce Octavia to you, show you that she is really strong. As you can see, I'm on, well, we're free of Hydron on my own. And I wouldn't say that's been that much of a problem. Now I've got my Xenoric buff, it gets get even easier. As you can see, my energy is just flying up in the bottom left hand corner. Uh, so I will just show you the build again um, in the simulacrum. So I will catch you over the... Right guys, so I'm now in the simulacrum. Uh, let me quickly just go over the build that I've put together for Octavia. So I have gone with two former on this build. So I've gone for pr corrosive projection, uh, power drift in the Xless slot, uh, blind rage for 90% ability strength and minus 50% ability efficiency. Uh, now reminded plus 90 percent ability duration and minus 60 percent ability range cunning drift to boost my range by 15 percent overextended again boosting range by 90 percent uh, streamline uh, rank 7 20 percent ability efficiency constitution boost my 20 uh, my ability duration by 28 percent and plus 40 percent faster knockdown recovery Fleeting expertise, 60% ability efficiency, minus 60% ability duration, and then finished off with stretch, plus 45% ability range. So I've not got any vitality on here, um, which you don't really need if you have got the ability to go invisible, so that's why I've not got it on. Uh, my efficiency is only 130, but you're probably saying that your abilities are going to cost a, a shed load, and you'll be right, but I do run with Xenoric, and I do... Um, get four energy per second once I've used my uh, focus ability uh, but I will demonstrate that so that is the build so we will spawn in we'll start with some ancient healers and we'll do five ancient healers at level 135 go invisible so I don't distract the enemies so what you want to do is put your number one down. You'll start doing damage to the mallet. And they are dead. And it's pretty much that easy, guys. <laughs> Obviously, the infested do not have any resistance, really. So we will go into Corrupted Heavy Gunner. Uh, we'll go with five of them. We'll simulate. Let me get my see as you can see the mallet is already doing damage. 
it's just run out, so I'll put another one down. And the more damage they do to the mallet, the more damage it will just wreck. As you can see, the damage numbers are going up now, so they're in like a thousand per ticks. So you can put your four down to extend the range, so no, no enemies can get out of the way of it. So as you can see, they're all dead. Did take a little bit, a little bit longer than the infested, but I would say that was pretty damn fast. Um, just let me show you something, <laughs> and it will make you laugh. Um, so Carper, so if you're going out against Carper's techs, and you know how fast these guys fire, so I'll just go invisible. But this is <laughs> this is funny. So put your mallet down. You don't even need to extend the range. they're dead <laughs> as you can see that absolutely destroyed them and I was pretty shocked at that really I didn't think it would dispatch the corpus text that easily but uh, oh well so I'll tell you what it does actually work well against the bursas so I'll do three bursas which they're always a pain to kill bursas in my opinion as you can see the damage numbers are already ticking away Oh, I'll put the wrong ability out, it's going to roll around with it now. So this is what the number 2 ability does. Picks up your mallet and starts to run around with it. So I don't think that's a good thing. One of the bursts has just committed. Um, but you can see the damage numbers. Oh, and I've just jumped off as well. God damn it. But you can see it's they've got a lot of damage numbers. I shouldn't have put my number two out. It's better off just keeping it stationary, I would say. But the more damage they do to it, then the more they're gonna do self harm. But the ticks are like, well, there were two thousand ticks, sixteen hundred ticks. So you can see the life going down rapidly. Put one in front of it, it's just that doing more and more damage. The only problem with bursts is they're, they're very sporadic in the attacks. So they put an attack out and then, then they go around the corner and start hiding for a bit. But yeah, I just wanted to demonstrate that you can deal with bursts with these. If the attacks was constant then the self damage would be even better but they like to be a bit hit and miss versus so yeah guys that's all i wanted to show you in the simulacrum i wanted to show you the build um and how it performs against higher level enemies let me just kill these versus because they're annoying me and yeah that's my two former octavia build i hope you liked the video um Please give me a like if you liked it uh, and I will catch you at the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.